I've got good news for you. God has moved towards you in Christ. Everything that Christ has provided is at hand for you right now. Isaiah shouts in Isaiah 53 1, he says, Who has believed our report? This news is too good to be true, and for you to be able to just receive it is almost just too easy for the religious mind. But it still is true. And Luke 2 verse 10 reads, Yeah, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. You see, there's been good tidings of great joy proclaimed towards you in the person of Christ. And it is for all people. Are you a human being? Well, then it's for you. You don't have to wait for somebody else to get it. You can receive it afresh this Christmas. The problem is many people struggle to connect by faith to that which God has provided. We disqualify ourselves not understanding how to receive. So these scriptures in 1 Corinthians 2 explains how to receive the things of God. Verse 9 reads, But as it is written, Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love Him. But God has revealed them to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. You see, this scripture makes it so clear that that in the Old Covenant, people didn't have the Spirit of God in them. They couldn't receive what God has provided. But it says here, but God has passed and revealed them to us by the Spirit. You see, it's the Spirit of God that now witnesses with our spirit and makes the things that God has prepared for us real. So faith says that that Spirit That condition of being able to hear God is mine right now. It doesn't say one day I will be able to hear God and receive the things that God has for me. No, faith isn't just to hope for something. Faith is to have substance in your heart for something that you hope for. That means it takes what you hope will happen and make it right now present tense reality. So you can say, I have the Spirit of God right now. I can hear the the things that God has prepared for me and I can receive them by faith. I don't have to hope that they come true. I have them right now. And so we believe by putting the things that the Word of God says has happened present tense in our life right now. Who has believed our report? You are the one that believes the report. The good tidings of great things that have come towards you in Christ. Always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved.